Hey guys, Fred here, uh, VE3FAL from Ontario Northwest the Bushcrafter and Outdoors. It is June 21st today and I'm getting ready for our 10 day trip, canoe trip to Wabakimi Provincial Park. We leave Sunday morning bright and early uh, to head in to the park for 10 days. Uh, weather forecast is a little bit iffy. Uh, Chances of rain daily, I guess, and cool temperatures. Uh, this morning, believe it or not, here in uh, the Thunder Bay area, we actually got down to four overnight. Uh, so really cool evenings. I think the highs uh, throughout the week while we're out there for the 10 days are 16, 17 during the day and lows of six and seven. Uh, but a couple things I just wanted to show you guys today, because um, I am going to be bringing the uh, hybrid headlamp with me and uh, testing that out. Uh, during the trip. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring the puck yet or if I'm going to bring my Luma Noodle for in the uh, screen room uh, that I'm bringing. Uh, but it's going to be either one. It's either going to be the puck here or uh, my uh, Luma Noodle with the battery pack. So I just got to weigh that out. I'm just uh, trying to get the rest of my stuff packed here now. Um, it is Wednesday. Uh, i got a couple more days to leave. Uh, just fine tuning the list and uh, some foods and stuff like that. Um, and uh, trying to get some of that stuff ready and uh, you know for the trip so what I wanted to do is just show you guys this as I said um, hybrid light uh, I bought these um, to to test and to review on my channel uh, just because I've seen a lot of uh, stuff about them and uh, they look like a really awesome product uh, this this headlamp is probably half the weight if not uh, less uh, or more than the headlamp I'm using now so I figured that uh, I'd give this a whirl, but I want to show you guys before I open them up and unpack them uh, what they look like. So we've got the puck, which is ex expandable, and then of course we've got the uh, hybrid uh, light uh, headlamp here. So um, as I start packing my gear this week, I'll uh, just add that into the video and we'll go from there. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, from uh, Wabakini. So this is Fred V3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. Hey guys, Fred here, VE3FL from Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors. It is August 4th, 2017, and I was supposed to do a review on the hybrid light headlamp and the hybrid light puck. Um, I took them with me when I went to Wabakini Provincial Park in the hopes to use them and review them. Uh, but what I can tell you is that um, during the 187 kilometer paddle that we did uh, in the nine days that I never had a chance to try out the hybrid headlamp. Uh, the reason being that usually by the end of our days we were usually so tired. Uh, also that it was mid-summer, it was the height of summertime. So it doesn't get dark till 10:30, 11 o'clock. We are normally in bed by 8:30, 9 o'clock. I never had the chance to try the hybrid light headlamp. Um, so, <clears throat> what can I say? I have to wait now. Things are already starting to um, change time-wise. It's getting dark now by 9:30, 10 o'clock. So fall is definitely on its way. We can see the the seasons changing. We can feel the seasons changing and I'll have a chance to try the hybrid light uh, headlamp here probably very shortly coming up. But what I can tell you is that throughout the trip I used the puck. Um, the puck was used to actually charge a number of my um, my GoPro actually, my camera gear, my GoPro, my cell phone I was using for taking uh, some video and some still pictures. Uh, it uh, it worked extremely well for me. My go-to uh, charger, solar panel charger that I took died through the trip probably a couple days in. What I'm thinking is that the solar panel here probably got ruptured and broken uh, from being in the pack uh, without you know anything protecting the, the solar panel. It charges 150% off of a USB cable, but it will not charge off the solar panel. So the battery still work. It's not a shorted cell. None of that's 
uh, in the in this charger, uh, but it won't charge from the solar panel, which is too bad uh, because this worked extremely well for me throughout the winter out at the tent location. Uh, but it no longer wants to charge off of the solar panels. So what I'm thinking is that one of the uh, panels that broke uh, through the trip, uh, rendering this uh, no longer usable uh, with you know outdoors in the um, in the sunshine. So what I did do was I ended up buying uh, this guy here, and this will be my go-to. And I've already built a protective case for it to protect the solar panel, and I will use that. What I've also done is I bought the uh, Crank Monkey charger, the five volt uh, gyro motor. Uh, gyro charger, I guess, what you want, or whatever you want to call it, uh, to charge some of my gear. It does work extremely well, and I'll do a review on that later. I bought that uh, through Red Pine Outdoors. Uh, there was a sale on it, so I picked that up uh, to use. It's a little, little uh, weighty, but uh, nonetheless, it will definitely do the trick for charging some of my gear. But what I can tell you is that the puck. I left it out throughout the day and the evenings when we were uh, finally at our destination because usually we were at our destinations by one o'clock uh, at the latest and I'd leave it out during the mid uh, daylight sun and it charged enough that I could uh, top up my GoPro batteries, uh, my cell phone and all the other stuff that I was running with the puck. So the puck works extremely well. I never had a chance to use it for illuminating a tent or the uh, hammock or any of that stuff as I say because it was definitely uh, daylight uh, when we went to bed uh, throughout our trip but uh, we'll definitely give that a go to here as uh, time goes on so I just wanted to add this to uh, to my first video that I made before the trip uh, back in June and just let you know that uh, I will do a review on the uh, hybrid uh, headlamp and I will also do a review here later a little more in depth on the hybrid uh, puck so Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe, like, share, uh, you know, the, the whole uh, gamut here if you can. Uh, and thanks for watching my channel here. So this is Fred, uh, VE3FAL from Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors, saying 7-3. Talk to you guys later.